Years ago, the Penobscot River would fill its banks with Atlantic salmon each spring as the great food and sport fish would fight the swift current, trying to make its way upstream to the headwaters to spawn. But man built dams across the river and fouled its waters with waste, gradually killing off the Atlantic salmon as well as other game fish. However, the Craig Brook National Fish Hatchery is waging a single-handed battle to restore the great Atlantic sea-run salmon to Maine's rivers. Michael Marchishan manages the salmon hatchery in East Orland. Mr. Marchishan, what goes into the care and feeding of a salmon? Why don't we start with the breeding? First of all, this is the, uh, the only Atlantic salmon hatchery run by the Bureau of Sport Fisheries and Wildlife of the Department of Interior. And uh, we, our primary purpose is to take the spawn from the large adult salmon, bring the eggs into the hatchery room where we place the eggs on hatching trays into troughs. And here the eggs and spawn are subjected to a controlled environment uh, of clean water. How do you get the water clean? This water initially is run through a filtering system, then it's run through a heat exchanger, and the temperature uh, is adjusted to the desired water temperature we need to incubate our salmon eggs and to rear the young salmon. Well, after the fish have hatched, what's the next step? Uh, then these uh, young salmon uh, hatch, as you know, with a yolk sac. This yolk sac remains and contains the food nutrients of the young embryo or the young sac fry for approximately four weeks. And then this yolk sac is absorbed and the fish becomes free swimming. And when the fish comes off the bottom of the trough, we then introduce food to the young salmon. Mr. Marchishan, now the fish have hats. They're ready to go into tanks. What's the next step? These fish are placed in our outdoor rearing pools. We have three different various types of pools here at this hatchery. We have the long raceway type pools. We have the balls type pools, which you see here and the Swedish type square with a rounded corner. Why pools. the different types? This is the first original uh, ponds here at this station were large earthen ponds. Then they decided to make them out of concrete, so they made concrete raceways. And we find that salmon appear to like to be reared in waters where we have a velocity, where we can control the water velocity, then this type of pool requires uh, water being introduced under velocity, and there is actual current created within the pool. And these fish are always exercising, and this is part of their conditioning period throughout their hatchery life, and therefore gives us a stronger conditioned salmon when we release them in the spring of the year. What do you and feed these salmon? These salmon are fed a commercially prepared pellet. This pellet contains many nutrients which are required and give us very good growth of the young salmon. Now, these salmon that Sarah's feeding right now, how old are they? These salmon are on their second summer. And we, we will be releasing these next May into one of the rivers here in Maine. It will either be the Penobscot, the Narragus, the Machias, the Denny's, or Pleasant River. Now, hopefully, after these fish have been released, two years later, they'll come back to where they, you release them and spawn again. Yes, uh, Mike, these fish are approximately 68 inches in length when we release them. Uh, they are either tagged or fin-clipped, 
and placed into the river. They migrate out to sea and in two years they come back. And as you see here, there are approximately 93 returned adult salmon in this pool, which were trapped at the Bangor Dam, at our trapping facility at the fishway there, brought here this summer. And we will hold these until about the first week of November when we again begin to take the spawn and begin to uh, run their eggs through the hatchery. How many salmon do you release a year? Uh, Mike, we release in the neighborhood uh, 150, 200,000 salmon smolts a year in the state waters. How does it look for the future for salmon runs, say, on the Penobscot? Uh, I believe the future looks very good after the construction of the various fishways or the impoundments. The, these adult salmon now have a way to work up to their headwaters for natural spawning in the na nursery areas. Is the water clean enough for them to move in there? Uh, there is a great deal of effort uh, towards this uh, pollution cleanup of the Penobscot River system. In the spring, when high waters dilute the pollution to levels tolerable to the salmon, they can survive on the Penobscot. Perhaps in the next few years, pollution abatement practices will clean up Maine's rivers to a point where they can once again support the magnificent Atlantic salmon. This is Mike Trudell for Telejournal News.